Life Track with Chuck Swindoll is a presentation of Insight for Living Canada. I know for some of you it puts a chill up your back, just the thought of speaking to another individual directly about the Lord Jesus Christ. Some of you have not done that in 30 years, maybe if the truth were known ever. Let me tell you a story that Cynthia and I heard last Friday night. She and I, along with family and friends, attended uh, the Bass Performance Hall in Fort Worth to listen to the three tenors. Steve Green, Steve Amerson, Larnell Harris. It was one delightful evening. We moved from laughter to tears, and we were from ecstasy and delight all the way to reality as we listened to these three men with full orchestra, our church choir, along with uh, Park City's Presbyterian Church Choir. It was a wonderful evening of great music and uh, delightful stories. Steve Green told this one. He said he, was, he got on the plane in Atlanta to travel to San Francisco for a, for a concert. And he was weary, and he had a book that he wanted to finish. And so he prayed, Lord, if it's possible, just give me a little rest on the plane. I'd like to be able to finish this book. I'd like to be able to just sleep a little. Just make that happen, Lord. And he said, to my delight, the seats next to me were open. Most of the other seats were filled. So he said, I nestled in with my book and buckled up for a trip. One fellow got on late, had a beer in his hand, and was trying to find the seat where he was supposed to sit. And Steve said, I wondered who would be the lucky person who would have that person sit next to him. And he stumbled right up against my knees and said, excuse me, that's my seat right there. And Steve thought, oh, Lord, help him go to sleep so I can finish my <laughs> book. But he said, as is often true, the Lord had other plans, and it wasn't 10 minutes into flight before they were in a conversation as the man opened up his heart, which was rather empty and bored with life, in fact troubled over a relationship that was failing with the woman that he had been going with. He was going to revisit her out in the San Francisco area and see if it could be rebuilt. The conversation turned gently yet directly toward the person of Christ. And Steve said for the next couple of hours while others were watching the movie he and I were engaged in the wonderful conversation of Jesus and before we landed the man had given his heart to Christ it was a wonderful story I wish I could give it to you as well as Steve did anyway they landed and the fellow was on his way and Steve was going to be flown by private plane to his destination and and he just happened to ask the the pilot if they would be flying near where this fellow would go he said yeah as a matter of fact we're landing at that airport right there and so he ran down to the luggage area and found him and he got the fellow and he says come on I want you to go with me so they flew together and they land he said matter of fact all he had to do was run across the runway little private runway area jump over the fence and he was in her yard right there I mean it just worked out perfectly and the guy looked at Steve like, does it always work like this? You know, is this, is this what I have in store? As a Christian, their contacts are now continuing and their relationship and correspondence is going to be growing. It's just that natural. Living happily ever after isn't usually God's plan for us, but what He does have in store for us is a great adventure. Walking with God is the most exciting and rewarding of all experiences on earth. This is Steve Johnson of Insight for Living Canada. Listen to more of Chuck Swindoll's Lifetrack messages at lifetrack.ca. Lifetrack, where life and truth meet. The preceding Life Track presentation was brought to you by Insight for Living Canada. The original message, Touching Others' Lives, was copyrighted in 2001.
and this Life Track sound recording was copyrighted in 2014 by Charles R. Swindoll Incorporated. All rights are reserved worldwide.